Um, some of the challenges that we face as a Somali communities is um, um, the language barrier and also the financial. And, and the other thing is the system is not actually um, so helpful <laughs> when it comes to uh, um, the funding and the, the providing the, the services that our children need. Uh, Somali Canadians are very um, uh, new to this country and not that they know all the loops yet and uh, accessing uh, uh, the facilities and information and networking that's all required uh, a language, English language and there's a, a language barrier that's really stops them uh, uh, to access. And um, the other thing, challenge they face is that um, to find a translator. The other thing is that I would like to tell you um, some of uh, people that I know in my community, which they have uh, children um, under the autism spectrum, actually don't feel comfortable sharing uh, their children's uh, uh, diagnos diagnosis. And because uh, they think it's it's a it's a little taboo for the family, and they like everything to be discreet, and it's very hard. How can you help your child when you're when you're really completely ignoring your child's disability, instead of really being advocates for your own child and and be speak out and be and be very comfortable with your child's strengths and weaknesses. Because that's how you can really, it has to start from you as a parent, you know, to feel comfortable about your child's disability for you to go move on and go find um, and support and the help your child needs. So it has to start from you as a parent and go forward after that. That was a really a, a big challenge.